Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again. This is Jana with Purple Girl Crafts. Today we're going to make this tower card. This lays flat for shipping. It requires no die cuts. And when you open it up, you get your little side pockets that pop out. This is a five by seven card. And again, there are no die cuts required and I've added just a little bit of embellishments. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm gonna show you all the pieces that we're going to need to make this card. So the base of the card, this is going to be eight by seven inches. And then on the eight inch side, we're going to score this and we're going to score this at one and a half and three. So you should have your two score lines just on the one side. Next, we're going to need a piece of basic white cardstock and this is cut at eight by six. And again, on the eight inch side, we're going to do the same measurement, score it one and a half and three. Near two score marks will be on that one end of the paper only. Next, we are going to need three pieces, and this is a matte layer, and these are cut at one and three quarters by four and three quarters. Then for the layer on top of that, we will need three pieces, and these are cut at one and a half by four and a half. And again, you'll need three. Next, we are going to need six pieces. And again, this is the matte layer, and these are cut at one and a quarter by one and three quarters. You'll need six. And then we'll need six pieces, and these are cut at one by one and a half, and this is the layer that goes on top. And again, six pieces. And for the embellishment on the top of the card, so these are two punches that I have. And this first one, this one measures four and a quarter. And then the second one is four inches and the red one's just gonna sit on top of the white one. So we're done with our scoreboard, so let's go ahead and move that out of the way. And we're going to start by folding this. So we're gonna start with the base piece and we're gonna fold that second score mark. So we're gonna fold that inward. And then we're going to take the second score mark or the first one on the edge of the paper and we're just going to do that the opposite direction and then crease that out. So this is what you should have. So now for the white piece, before we do any of the score marks, we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this into strips. This just makes it easier than having to cut three pieces and then having to score each piece individually. So we're going to cut this into two inch strips. This is a six inch wide piece of paper. So we should have three pieces that are two inches each. We'll move our cutter. And then again, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna fold that second score mark inward. And then fold that first score mark the opposite direction. And we'll do that on all three pieces. And then this is just gonna sit on the card just like this. And you just want to make sure when you do these that you have these lined up with the edge of the paper before you crease them out so that they aren't crooked. And then these will sit on the paper just like this. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do all the mats and layers. So I'm just going to lay these out so you can see where they go. We're going to put the three bigger pieces on the front. And on the sides, we're going, there's six, so we have the six sides to cover. So there'll be the mat and layer on all six sides. So I'm gonna move all of these other pieces away and I'm gonna start gluing all of these mats and layers together. Okay. 
Okay, so that is it. Those are all the pieces. Now have all their mats and layers on them. So to glue this, what we're going to do is we're, I'm going to turn it to the side so you can see it just a little bit easier. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue these to the edge of the paper at the top and the bottom, and then we'll do the center one. So you just want to make sure this is lined up. And then we're just going to put glue on this first flap. And I'm doing the smaller side first, but you could do the larger size first if you wanted. So I'm going to glue this down, and this is on the flat side of the paper. So the score marks start going opposite from each other on the red pieces and the white piece. And so I'm going to take this one, I'm going to put this one on the end. So I'm going to glue the two end pieces down first. Again, making sure they're lined up. Now for the last piece, I put this down, you should have about a quarter of an inch showing between the top and the bottom piece on each side. And the easiest way to do this is once you have it lined up, it's just to flip that flap up, keep your paper in place, and then just glue it down. That way you don't have to measure it again. I'm just going to use my bone folder and just kind of push those down. Now I'm going to turn the card and I'm going to take all these flaps and I'm going to open them all the way up and then we're going to fold that other flap down and then we're going to glue this last sections onto that flap just like this. And what you want to do is I'm just going to put my finger just where the line is, lift up that flap and know that I'm just going to put glue just in that small section and this is on that one and a half inch first score mark that we did. You could take a pencil and put a pencil there um, and make a pencil mark so you know where to put your glue. Or what you can do is you can take this and you can line it up so it's even if you've got a um, cutting mat behind you and then you can kind of see where you want to put your glue between those marks. And that's what I'm doing on this middle one. And again, it's about a two inch area of glue that you're going to glue. And on the last one, same thing. I'm just going to kind of mark it, know where I need to go, and then put glue just down to the bottom of that flap. And then just close the flap on itself. And again, just push that glue down. And there you have it. That is the card so far. So that is the base part of the card. Now comes the fun part, the decorating. So the first part, this center piece, is going to be the scalloped circle that we had cut out. We're going to put the red on top of the white. And then it's going to be placed in the center of the front of the card. So it'll be centered right about here. But before we do that, before we put it down, we're going to work on some of the other elements that are going to be put on here. So let me grab some stuff that I have. So I've pre-cut out my little mouse, Charlie the mouse. And Charlie's going to sit right in the center of the circle. Now for the, the sentiment on the front of the card, I've gone ahead and I had some letters that I have cut out from prior cards. I'm going to use those and I'm going to put them at the top and the bottom. Now I've added them to the wasabi tape so that it helps to guide them and they line up perfectly. There are a bunch of videos out there on YouTube that show you how to do this if you want to get some extra help on learning how to do it. It is a great time saver. Okay, so the center piece, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put glue in that center section of the card. That circle is only going to be glued to the center panel. And I'm going to line this up to make sure that I've got three dots on each side or three of the scallops on each side. And that it's centered. And then I'll push that down. And then again, Charlie will just sit in the middle. And then the letters will be put on the top. 
So I have have. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the card, move Charlie out of the way. We don't need to put him down yet. And I'm going to put the quick glue on all of these letters. And then I'm just going to line this up so the tape is lined up with the edge of the card. And then I'm going to slowly pull it off and push down on those letters to make sure they stay down as I'm pulling it away. So there we have have, and I realized I should have probably put this over just a little bit, but because I didn't, every card's different, so we're going to make it just a little bit of a change. So next, I'm going to put the A. I was going to put it right here, but I don't think it looks good, so we're going to move it off to the side, but we're not going to do that yet. So I'm just going to move that away. We're going to do the next suite, because the saying is have a sweet day. And I'm going to put the sweet right down here. So again, I'm just going to apply the glue. And then I'm going to just line this up, make sure it's straight. Push down on the letters and slowly pull up the tape. Sometimes the letters will not come off or the tape, but just go slow and just make sure you're putting pressure on those letters before you pull them up and it should work. Okay, so there we've got half and sweet. And now another trick is if you are using wasabi tape, if you use a thinner tape like the one I have on day, you can see the letters. So this is probably the best tape to use if you're doing letters like this because then you can line up the bottom of the letters with an edge of a card or however you want to line them up. Again, I'm just going to push those letters down as I slowly pull off the tape. And then I'm going to add the A. I'm just going to add it off to the side just a little bit on the bottom. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to glue Charlie. And we're going to put him right in the center. Again, I'm going to use my bone folder just to push that glue out. And then I've got all of these watermelons that I had drawn and cut out and colored. And these are going to be just put around on the card, just in various spots. Now you can, if you want to, you can put them hanging off the top. It's not going to matter because you're not, it won't interfere with opening and closing of the card. So I'm just going to randomly put these on and then I'm going to glue these all down. So that's so far all the decorations that we have. So I'm also going to add some more embellishments and these are just some little glitter dots. And I'm just going to put just a few on the front and then some on some of the other dots just to give it a spark of color on the inside of the card. Now you will need a piece of paper that is six and three quarters by four and three quarters if you want to put it on the back. I want to thank you for joining me today. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't done so, please do so. Until next time, happy crafting, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.